I'm going to show you how your Twitch chat can control your game, and I'm going to do it in less than a minute. Let's go. First, go ahead and download and install both the stream tool and cruise control from the video description. Now, at this point, if you're using a dual PC setup, you're going to want to have the stream tool on your gaming PC and cruise control on your streaming PC. If you're using one PC, just leave them in the same folder. Next up, pick a game you want to control. Not that one. Once you've set on a game, open your settings, head on over to the controls tab, and decide exactly what you want your channel point to control. Then go ahead and spend the next hour getting carried away with your game instead of actually picking your control. When you've set on your control, go on ahead and open your stream tool. And in the first box titled key press trigger, click on the key box and select the key you want to use. In our instance, it's the G key. If you want a special key, select it from the drop down box and tick the control, alt or shift keys accordingly. Finish this box off. If you need the key to be held down for a few seconds, just simply type in the number in the duration box. Hit the copy URL to clipboard button. Leave it open in the background. With the URL copied, go into your cruise control master folder and look for the triggers text file. At this point, decide if you want your control to be activated by a command or by a channel point. In this instance, we're going to use a channel point. Head on over to Twitch and create your custom award. Our one here is going to activate the horn on our trucks. We're giving it a witty title and a catchy thumbnail. Once you've created your channel point reward, head on into the triggers.txt file and create your trigger. Please note, if you're using the channel point trigger, you need to put the name of the trigger exactly the same as it appears on Twitch. If you're using a single PC setup, this command you can get away with using just localhost here. If you're using a dual PC setup, you'll want your local IP address in this field here. To find that, go head on over to the stream tool, hit this little tab here, hit it again, and you'll see your local IP address. Save your file and reset your cruise control. And that is how your viewers can use their channel points to control your game. Have fun.